Welcome to Local Edition. I'm Bella Shaw. Contamination and a possible casino. What a headline. Ventura County Supervisor Linda Parks joins us to fill us in on this latest controversy. Good to see you, Linda. Hi, nice <laughs> to see you too. Well, this is in regards to the Santa Susana Field Lab, and that's over in the, I guess, the, the northeastern portion of Ventura County. And it's in the Santa Susana Hills, and Boeing is an owner of it, as well as uh, 400 acres is owned by NASA. Wow. And the federal government wants to dispose of those 400 acres. And the Chumash uh, tribe that is, has the casino out in Santa Inez is expressed interest in, in purchasing it or getting it for free, but they'd like to have that land. And that brings up all kinds of questions because it is a contaminated site. You want to make sure it gets cleaned up. And then also, from a personal perspective, I, I, the concept of putting a casino there is, <laughs> would, would worry me. So right. I want to make sure that those two, th those two things are taken now, care of. Now, why would that worry you? Why, why don't you want a casino in your backyard? Well, I, I, I have problems with casinos to begin with and, and what that brings to an area. And secondly, it, it seems like a completely inappropriate place. But to the point of the, the main issue, which is the fact that this land has had a um, partial nuclear reactor meltdowns there. Uh, they have found cesium, strontium, plutonium in that area, as well as uh, with the work that Boeing had done there. Uh, they were just dumping contaminants into the ground, TCE, perchlorate, and that is now in the groundwater. And they are under um, orders from the, uh, both the Department of Toxic Substance Control and the uh, Regional Water Quality Control Board to clean up that, that area. And if it gets transferred to uh, a Chumash tribe that then makes it into a sovereign nation, how much uh, control then does the federal government have, or the state, or even mm -hmm. local, uh, as to what happens with that land? It's interesting because during the 50s, the Cold War era, and the race to the moon, a lot of these companies, you mentioned Rockdyne, Bindex, it wasn't necessarily negligence. Maybe at that time they just didn't know better, and all those contaminants went into the, the water system, and the groundwater. Yeah. Yeah, and they, they had burn pits there where they were burning napalm and, wow. and other, other toxic substances, but there wasn't really uh, much environmental regulation or concern then. And even the partial nuclear meltdown that happened there, it wasn't in a containment structure. So we've learned a lot, but as a result, we have a problem there, and my first concern is that it gets cleaned up. And then, you know, if it wants to be transferred to a, made into a park or, or in, you know, hopefully not a casino, but the first things first is make sure that it gets cleaned up. And now on the site, can you see maybe some rocket launchers or things like oh, yeah. that? You'd have to preserve there, those, wouldn't you? Linda? It is interesting. There is a group out there that would like to preserve for history uh, some of the rocket launch stands, and you know, I hear those are pretty cool. Uh, and that, that's fine, and the idea of transferring it eventually to maybe the National Park Service, that, that's all great as long as it gets cleaned up first. And, and I don't want to see the, the polluter get out from under the requirements of, of getting that area cleaned up. Because it is, you, you know, concerned about it leaching off-site also, but also you don't want to put people there if, you know, they're going to be, Absolutely. you know, glowing afterwards. Those chemicals, <laughs> yeah, they, they have an incredible shelf life, don't they? It's really hard to get rid of them. Yeah, ab absolutely. And so uh, I want to make sure that we everything is above board. For example, there are also, okay, <laughs> we're running out <laughs> of time. We'll save that one for another time. Okay. Linda Parks, thank you so much for joining us here on Local Edition. We thank you as well. I'm Bella Shaw. See you next time.